Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here and I appreciate your time. So I'm going to be showing you my nighttime skincare routine. I just washed my hands and now I'm using a cotton face towel instead of a washcloth. I don't use washcloths anymore when I'm washing my face. So I just wet um, the washcloth with hot water and I'm putting it on my skin to use my extraction tool. And before I use it, I always sanitize it with alcohol so that was in a white bottle. And here you can see me using a technique where I wrap my fingers in the cloth, the hot, damp cloth, and I push my skin to push um, any of the nose, conk, or sebum out of my skin. And yeah, now I'm going to be doing my chin. And you can kind of see there some of the stuff that came out on the extractor. So yeah, I'm just taking my time gently. Um, with some pressure, light pressure going over my skin in the area that's where my pores tend to be the biggest. And just getting all that stuff out of there. It's important to do this every now and then. Um, yeah, look at that. So this is like the stuff that cleansers and even um, facial brushes are not able to get out. So um, I will do an extraction on my skin. Maybe... Uh, three to two two times a month depending on what's going on with my skin so yeah look at that that's that's dead skin that's dry skin so now I'm moving on to another tool which is a smaller loop and I'm just again lightly putting some pressure on my skin just getting off anything that I have that looks gross around my mouth up you know on my cheek area I'm going to do my forehead. This doesn't take me a lot of time because usually my forehead um, doesn't have a lot of whiteheads because um, my pores on my forehead are rather small. So just taking my time, getting whatever I can out. And um, I will also usually at this time take my tweezers and see if I can plug any hairs out on my chin. Yes, this is a normal thing for women to get hairs, sparse hairs growing on your chin. I prefer to pluck them rather than shave them so that's what I'm going to be doing right now I am washing my face with the Dub Micellar Water um, body wash but I like to use it on my face well it's, it's a good body wash too but I really like to use it on my face and I'm using an exfoliating mitt I love to use these on all areas of my body um, but I don't use this exfoliating mitt on my face every day or every night this is only something I do every now and then when I'm doing like what I consider a deep cleansing with an extraction um, because you just don't need to use something uh, this abrasive on your skin every single day you don't need to um, and this is exactly why I actually do this at night like I wouldn't be doing this um, before I leave the house even with sunscreen on I would not be doing anything this intense to my skin before I leave the house. This is specifically for at night. So now I'm taking a new cloth and I am wiping the soap off of my face. And it's important that you just, you know, just for hygiene reasons, to keep everything clean, change your cloth. This is how I clean around my eyes without affecting my lashes as well. I've gotten pretty good at doing this. <laughs> so. Yeah, just cleaning off all soap and all the dirt that may be left over from me washing my face. And then I'm going to take my extraction tools, again with the alcohol spray bottle, sanitize them, clean them off before I put them away. And here I am showing you what I actually apply to my face. This is the e.l.f. Uh, Super Fruit Toner. I like to use this. I am very much obsessed with fruit glycolic acid um, exfoliants that is my favorite uh, I guess skincare ingredient is AHA any type of AHA well not no that's not true I don't like BHA um, so actually what I'm applying to my face now is a 20% salicylic acid pilling solution and I just take that and pat that on my skin with a silicone um, application tool Again, this is not something I would apply every day or before I was getting ready to leave the house because these are all um, things that have to do with helping your skin peel. So I'm going to take some Aquaphor a little bit and I'm just going to rub that on my jawline 
that's where my um, I do get the sparse hair is and sometimes when I'm plucking my hair I can um, you know create a sore or something so I like to always put the aquaphor on any area where I'm noticing that my skin is trying to heal from either a pimple or something like that and then I'm gonna take my um, amylectin smoothing uh, cream which is literally my favorite uh, product from them and I'm gonna apply this all over my face as pretty much like a night cream over my face my my neck everywhere that I can apply it and this is essentially going to be well yeah the last step for my face this is the last step for my face so I'm just gonna take my time really rubbing that in really taking my time to just rub that in and give myself a face massage as well I like to do this Once I have my face massage all complete, I also will apply a night lip balm. This is not really specifically for at night. I just this is my favorite lip balm. Um, so yeah, this is basically how I will go to bed. Um, this is my nighttime routine, specifically when I'm doing a deep exfoliation as well as a deep extraction. I would not recommend this being something you do every night. Um, you can irritate your skin, you can over exfoliate your skin with a chemical peel. You, it's just, this is again something you want to do to deep cleanse your skin. Um, maybe twice, maybe three times a month depending on what type of skin you have. So maybe once a week. So yes, these are the finishing results. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you are subscribed to my channel and have your notification bell turned on. Uh, please leave me a comment. You know, if you have any questions or anything, I will try to put everything in the description box below. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, take care. Bye.